Hello everyone, welcome to the second video of trigonometry series. In this video, we are going to learn about how to find the arc length and area of a sector. I will be going little slow, so if you want to watch this video, you can actually watch it on 1.5x. That will help you to complete this video in shorter amount of time. So, basically, we have got these are the components of a circle. Let's say this is the center of the circle. This is my radius. So the arc is, arc is a part of the circumference of a circle. It is formed by an angle. So depending upon this angle theta, the arc length would be bigger or a smaller. Arc is the Latin word which means bow or curve. Sector came from a Latin word which means secare to cut. The part of the area of a circle lying between the two radii and an arc is known as a sector. You can also think sector as a slice of a pizza. So how to calculate, how we can calculate arc of a circle. So let's say if I have got a circle and here I want to find the length of an arc formed by any angle theta. So let's say that the radius of this circle is r. What would be the circumference? The circumference can be given by 2 times pi times r. If I use unitary method, the total angle at the center is 360 degrees. So what would be the arc length for 1 degree? We can say 2 pi r divided by 360. So if I know how much is the arc length when theta is equal to 1 degree, I can actually find for any value of theta. So arc length formed by an angle theta can be given by 2 pi r over 360 degrees times theta. Mind you, this is valid when we are dealing with degrees. So let's take an example. Here we have got circumference of the circle is given to us as 80 centimeter. Let's see how we can calculate the length of these arcs. So the first one that we have got, it's a circle uh, where we have got that it has the same radius as this circle. And let's say the angle form the angle that we have is 1 degree and we are asked to calculate the arc length formed by this 1 degree. So we'll use unitary method 80 divided by 360 which is equal to 0 0.22 centimeter. The next one we have got 6 degree which is again 80 divided by 360. We ca calculated the value of 1 degree. What, we, what would be the arc that would be formed by 1 degree? and we multiplied it by 6, we got the angle. We are still using 2 pi r over 360 times theta. Similarly, if the angle is 40 degree and we are asked to calculate the arc length formed by 40 degree, we'll do 80, which is the circumference of the circle, divided by 360 times 40, and that gave us 8.9 centimeter. So let's discuss how things change if I am dealing with radians. Now one of the misconceptions that a lot of students have is that one radian is equal to one degree which is wrong. If you see we know that 2 pi radians are 360 degrees. It means that pi radian is 180 degrees and when I have to calculate one radian which is 180 divided by pi, which is approximately equal to 56, 57 point something. So one radian is not equal to one degree. This is, and you will see how this thing changes. So if I have got a circumference of a circle as 100 centimeter, and I'm trying to find what would, what would be the arc length formed by one radian, this is not to scale, this is not drawn up to scale. So we will do 180 divided by 2 pi, which came out to be 
28.66 centimeter. Now observe carefully. Now I am going to find the arc length formed by pi over 6 radian, which is a which is 30 degrees basically. Here I have got 180 divided by 2 pi. In case of radian, we can say the formula is circumference. divided by 2 pi times theta. Here we are getting 15 centimeter. Now observe carefully, one radian is not equal to 1 degree because one radian is approximately 57 point something. Of course 57 point some degrees are more than 30 degrees. So that's why my answer over here is 28.66 centimeter which is bigger than 15 centimeter. Now let's go for the next one where we have got pi by 4 radians. So I will do the same thing circumference divided by the central angle which is 2 pi times pi by 4 radians which gave us 22.5 centimeter. So now let's discuss area of sector. So we have got area of sector which is 200 centimeter squares. In this case, I'll be concentrating on degrees. Basically, if you know how to calculate with the help of degrees, you can also calculate how when the radians are given, when the central angle is a radian. So if area is 200 centimeter square, just tell me from intuition, if we divide it into half, which is this case, the area of this would be divided by two which is 100 centimeter square. Here I am dividing it in a quarter. So I will divide it by 4 and I got my area of the sector as 50 centimeter square. This is the case where I have got 3 quarters. So I have divided it by 4 and then times it by 3 and I got 150 centimeter square. I want you to concentrate here and, and focus that what is happening the total angle at the center is 360 degrees. This is the area of a sector when we are having 180 degrees. If I have to derive this, I can say area of a sector is basically area of the circle which is pi r square divided by 360 times theta. That's what I have done here because if I have pi r square over 360 times 180, you can see 180 times 2 is 360. So I will get pi r square over 2, which I am dividing here, 200 divided by 2, which is 100 centimeter square. Similarly, if I have this angle, look at this angle, this is 90 degree. So if I have 200 divided by 360 times 90, 90 are 360 that will give me 200 divided by 4 which is 50 centimeter square. Similarly this angle that we have got it's 270 degree. So 200 divided by 360 times 270 degree which came out to be 150 centimeter square. So let's look at this example. We are going to calculate the area of different sectors. We have got the area is given to us as 450 centimeter square. So the first one that we have is we need to find the area of a sector where the angle is 1 degree. So we can do 450 divided by 360 because we know that this angle is 360 degrees. I am using unitary method. I got 1.25 centimeter square. Similarly, if I have 5 degrees, I will do the circumference divided by the total angle which is 360 times 5 and I got 6.25 centimeter square. The next one I have got 540 degrees, 450 divided by 360 times 40 and we got 50 centimeter square. So again I will repeat I am using the formula pi r square over 360 times theta. Now this formula is actually an application of unitary method. First I found what would be the area of a sector formed by one degree and once I know the unit 
measurement I can multiply for any angle theta and I can get an answer now let's try doing some questions where we have got pi in terms of radians so I have got 2 pi by 6 radians in case of radians things change little bit because instead of 360 now you have 2 pi as your central angle so you should be doing 450 divided by 2 pi times pi by 6 radian so in case of radian the circumference let's say it's 450 divided by 2 pi times theta that's what I will be using and I got 37.5 centimeter square and this one came out to be 56.25 centimeter square you have to remember that 2 pi radian is your 360 degree if you remember this no need to memorize it makes sense once you know this you can actually derive these formulas uh, I think it is important to understand the formulas rather than just memorizing everything so if you have understood this part let's try doing some questions so I have got question number one which is where we have got the radius is equal to 12 centimeter and the angle given to us is 60 degree so OAB is a sector of a circle center at O angle OA, AOB is 60 degree OA and OB are the radius and they are equal to uh, 12 centimeter work out the length of arc AB now here I am going to use the formula that is 2 pi r the circumference of a circle divided by 360 degree times theta that's my arc length now here what we have got 2 times pi times 12 divided by 360 times 60 now 66 are 360 and 6 twos are 12 my answer came out to be 4 pi centimeter since we are asked to give our answer in terms of pi so I will just leave it like this that's it now I want you to attempt this question pause the video try attempting this and after few minutes I will start discussing it okay so I hope you have seen what we are going to do here this is a question where we have got a sector of a circle the center is at O the red eye are 13 centimeter and the angle of the sector is 150 degrees so if I use the formula we know that area of a sector will be given by pi r square over 360 times theta 360 degree times theta so here my radius is 13 so pi times 13 square over 360 and the angle that we have got is 150 degree let's solve it we can actually simplify it further 0 0 you can use your calculator I like doing it manually so 0 0 got cancelled we have got 15 so I can divide both of them 15 and 36 by 3 so 5 times 12 times and then we have got 169 which is 13 a square times 5 over 12 times pi and uh, if we move further we have got 70.42 times pi we have to give our answer in three significant figures so let's find out how much is my answer I will be using my calculator now so we have got 70.42 times pi which came out to be 200 and approximately equal to 221.23 now this is one of the challenging problem I want you to attempt it first and then we will start the discussion pause the video and attempt this question alright so you have guessed it right here the arc length is given to us but we do not know this theta so an ideal situation would be that we start with finding this value of theta so we know that arc length is equal to 
2 times pi times the radius in this case it is 10 over 360 times theta and it should be equal to the arc length and here the arc length is given to us which is 15 centimeter next step let's make theta the subject so I will cancel out the zeros 18 twos are 36 so my theta can be given as 15 times 18 over pi now using the formula for finding area of a sector area of a sector is given as pi r square over 360 times theta I since I have used the formula of uh, for finding area of a sector in terms of degree I am using the same formula for finding the I am using degrees in order to find the area of sector as well so here pi times radius square which is 100 10 square uh, I will just write 10 square here 360 and the theta that we have found from our previous calculation which is 15 times 18 divided by pi here I can cancel out pi and pi 18 times 20 is 360 degrees 10 square is 100 100 times 15 over 20 and then 20 times 5 is 100 5 times 15 is 75 so my answer is 75 centimeter square that's it so this is it I, I have added one worksheet in the description try attempting that match your answer if you have any doubt please put it in your in the comment section I will be going through it and I will uh, try to help you out thank you for watching